Right, it's not standing out as bright as I'd like it to on the camera. So what I'll do is I'll keep taking some photographs in between so that I can show you in the video exactly the brightness that it should be. For some reason it's because uh, it's, it's dark cameras, it's not always easy to capture the light in the dark canvases on the camera, it seems to shimmer, it seems to shimmer and stuff. But anyway, I'm just going to do a little bit of work in here now. So I just need some black paint out. There we go. And it's a proper dark scene, is this? I've got all stars in the sky. Put a lot of stars in the sky and stuff. Might even use a bit of silver for that actually. Uh, the present I've just been using uh, a bit of blue first of all, and then some white over the top, just to pin. I don't know if you can see that because I'm zoomed in, but up in the sky areas. I'll show you them later on. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put some darking for these buildings now. In fact, I might as well just use the knife for that. Use a small part of the knife, a small blade. And just in there, I'm going to put a building that's just in front of these buildings behind just by using the small part of the knife I can come right on there so I'm going to show you a little bit of how I've been doing the lights and stuff you can see sort of see the reflections that I've done when I take the photographs, they'll really stand out nicely for you because I can see them perfectly here and they really are nice and vibrant, these colours. Uh, so, just simply get some like yellows, bright yellows, mix them with a tiny bit of titanium white, so yellow and white together. And with that, just come up in here in these areas and just painting some lights, bright lights and stuff. So that in these dark areas, in fact there's a few buildings and stuff like that. And then you use some of that colour down here in the water. And then you just use your finger and just pull down. Do it twice. Start there, pull down and pull again. Just get your little lights in the water. Also, just up in where these uh, buildings are here, just going to get a bit of red out on the palette and run out. Just going to get a bit of red and white pinky tone and then up in here I'm just going to put some little windows just a few here and there just little details also I want to use some of that purple and pink I just want a bit of that on top of there, just on top of there, and a little bit more just there. Just create these things, little billboards and stuff, you know, advertising halls. Who knows? Nice to advertise and then natural wonders one day <laughs> on a billboard. I'm determined to build it back up again and uh, get myself a nice little studio where I can paint and stuff. Just want to take some time and some help from Google too. As I was saying before, this whole idea of this is all in dedication to Nikolai Tesla, the man who 
created all of our modern electric, electrical system. The AC power grid and it powered a full city just like this, like I was telling you before, by using Niagara Falls. So you created a revolutionary new way of making a motor and the way he did it was an alternating current so that basically he could have giant alternators in the bit uh, at the top of Niagara Falls which were basically what he used to power all of the lights and everything in the city. It was a competition I think that he were in and he won the right to do that over Thomas Edison. He invented Thomas Edison, so that was a big feat in itself. But this man never got recognised for all the good things that he did. He ended up dying in a hotel, lonely, feeding pigeons. It's a real shame, to be honest. Right then, so I'm happy with what I've got there now. I'm just going to put some lights into the water, so for that I need to zoom out a little bit. Let me just have a look. See how it looks on camera. Yeah, I'm going to put some more stuff down in there still, but I'm not too fussed about that. That's fine. Right, so if I pull it out, get it so you can see a good stretch of water. And then I can zoom out so you can see what I'm doing. There. Right, so we get a one inch brush. A little one inch brush here. I've got some linseed oil, purified linseed oil. Now this part of the canvas is still dry. All of this is dry. I pulled all these reflections down while it was dry. Just using my finger. So I'm just going to get a bit of this linseed oil. Put a tiny bit of that on the brush. And what I've just put on the brush will probably be enough to do the whole thing. You really don't need a lot of it. So you just scrub it in. I'll start on the right, because you guys can't see that. Start in here. And touch up into them areas a little bit where I put the, <coughs> the bits of colour. Just go over that a little bit. Try not to destroy it too much. So you can just pull down with it. Nice. Yeah, scrub it in right into the canvas so there's not one area that you miss. Don't miss any areas whatsoever. And this will make it slip, slick, and sl slide. Make it slip and slide really nicely for when you want to do your big reflections for all the colour of the city into the water. So just put linseed oil all over that part of the canvas. So it's slick and wet. There we go. Like I say, what I put on there was enough to do the whole lot. This whole area. Just gonna keep scrubbing it in. There's a long, long way does that mean seed oil. And it'll last you for a long time. Purified linseed oil. Rather, I'd rather use that than the uh, Bob Ross medium, which is a little clear. I tend to find it's a little bit thick and gloopy in comparison to linseed oil. Linseed oil seems a lot cleaner, a lot fresher. Right, so it's all over the bottom area there now. And now I just pull up and tap into them areas a bit of that too, where I put those reflections down there in the water. Okay. Right, so get a paper towel and I will dry off the brush. I'm going to use this same brush and then I'm going to get some colours out on the, well I've already got some colours out on the canvas, I'm just going to get some silvers, I've got some blues out, uh, reds, so I'm going to get a bit of white, put it near each colour 
so I can mix it with it. Uh, where's the? Got some greens there. I've got the red there and the yellows. Right, so first of all, I'm going to mix a blue. So that's ultramarine blue, titanium white in there. So I'm going to find the blue buildings and uh, reflect the light down into the water. So we've got also these lights in here where I'm pulling the colours down. I'm going to put some big like blue lights and stuff like that that's going on. So just where that is there. In fact, I want a bit more of the blue. Uh, just down there, I'm just going to pull a bit of that colour. Just pull a bit of it into there. Pull it down. Don't pull it too far. Uh, now wherever you've got the blues, do that same thing. Pull a bit of that blue down into the water. Same where they are. Pull some blues down into the water there. Don't pull them too low though. Because, like I say, we're going to use a, a bigger brush. Come back in with a bigger brush. Anyway to blend these out nice and soft. Uh, some blues just in there. A bit darker blue that. See it just up there. Put a bit of that in there. Same for that little building that's there. So I'm just putting it in really rough at the moment. Wherever I'm seeing a bit of blue, pulling a bit of that down into the water. Bit of blue there, darker blue again. So I'll pull a bit down in there for that. Put some green lights going on there. So while I've got the blue on the brush, I'm just going a bit of yellow and some green. And a bit of white into that. So yellow, green and white create a lovely vibrant green. For these lights, I'm just going to pull down, it's a bit off is that, it's not what I'm after, that's better, something like that, got that yellow building, so a bit of yellow, let's do some yellows in there, yeah something like that, nice, another yellow building there, Bits of lights, some of these lights as well, which we've got in here, they'll stretch out with some of the reflections down into the water. So we'll put some of them into. It's just varying all these colours. Love it. Nice. Right, so I'm going to go into reds now with a tiny bit of white to it, red with a tiny bit of white and then where we've got these buildings that are red, it's probably a bit too white, I get a bit more red, yeah, that's better. It does tend to defuse a bit anywhere when you blend it out with a bigger brush, so I can just put some reds in here and there, and some pinks. Here and there, let it mix with a bit of blue, and it'll give you a a nice variation in tone. That part there is straight red, so I'll clean the brush off. A bit of straight red, just in there, just in the centre of that. That's good. And same with this. I'll probably make it a bit redder rather than the white there. that's it now just be patient with this there's no big rush steady away with it because the effects only come when you start blending right clean that off completely I want to get some yellow so that turns it a bit orangey. Put 
some of that orange tones in there. Uh, go back to the greens again. Put some greens in because I keep putting some green lights here and there because I like this vibrant green colour. Right, time to clean off again. Clean off the, the brush. And then in here I've got the silver. So probably a good idea to get rid of that red that's in there already by going into silver and just tapping it out. And then I've got a clean enough brush for the job. And where that is, I'm gonna pull some reflections down for it. I want these to be really quite bright so I can even add the tiniest amount of white to it. Just to brighten it off. Because that's what I did up there, if you remember. Bit of white in with the silver. Something like that, but it really stands out. And you don't want to do it. nice purple with the blue, the red and some white. change a couple of these and a couple of purple ones in I know that for sure so you can mix a bit of that colour there with that it's to the mauve side beautiful colour I, don't, I want a few that are a bit fatter as well, you see, a few of the reflections. Purple's so beautiful, it just zings out there. See that? Ah, so vibrant. It works a tree. It really does. Straight red. It's quite a bright red up there. Again, makes it zing nicely. Right, so I can go back to this brush now. It's got blue on it. Which it shouldn't matter. I'm going to go into silver. With that silver, I want to reintroduce. Oops. The silver for this. thin you see near as I had them when you're pulling them down I want to make them a bit wider so uh, that just helps right I'm gonna go back to this brush here and give it one last blend some of them colours together. So beautiful though and vibrant these colours, it just zings. All thanks to Nikolai Tesla, the amazing inventor. Like I say, look him up on YouTube, there's plenty of videos about him, he's quite uh, well known now as people have started, started raving about him basically because they found out how important it has been in our present day. Most of our 
pleasures and stuff that we don't appreciate anymore. I don't know him. Yeah. I'm happy with that. And then I need a, a totally clean brush now. Right then, so now I want to pull these colours down enough so that some of them go down right past the bottom of the canvas. And they should stay a bit more vibrant now. There we go. All the way down. Nice and soft, beautiful colours. Leave some of these dark completely alone, don't touch them at all. And then the vibrant colours that you've put in will really stand out. There's some nice purple and whites there so that really can be stretched right down. Nice one. Just going to tap that out again on the newspaper just to clean it off. And then very gently I'm going to come across all of it. Just like that. Just to make it look soft and wet. Also gives it the effect of ripples doing this. If you're looking really close, it drags a few of the colours across, which is what you want. If you're gentle, you won't destroy it. So be nice and gentle when you're blending them out like this. So it's a little wet, soft. That's good. All right, everyone. This is the finished painting. So I'm just going to give you a bit of a close up you can see the buildings there which I've done which I just showed you tidy them up a bit from before just neating up the edges and putting the lights in for the wind you know when the lights in, in the windows so there you go I put some ripples in the water where I pulled the reflections down I used a clean fan brush create some ripples and then I've put some bits of dark into them ripples and it creates a lovely wobbly effect on the reflections sorry about the light it's hard to get it so it doesn't glimmer off but there you go you can see them a bit closer now but it's a bustling metropolis just full of life Not really a key, normally keen on trying to avoid cities. Too busy and I'll show you the stars that I put in the sky too. See the stars at the top? It's hard to get it with the light but you can you can see and make out there where I put the stars in to the sky. I might put a couple a little bit lower in the sky as well but that's okay for now. Right, so I'm going to try and get a good zoom away so that you can see it all without that light glimmering on it. There you go. So, thank you Nikolai Tesla for everything that you've given to us all. This is your tribute. Hope he's looking down from above and enjoying what I've done. So there you go everybody, take care and I will see you all again soon.